Mojiri Lena's Talk Show. Conversing about this coronavirus pandemic that is affecting schools. Well, you might be sitting at home not knowing what actually COVID-19 is, how does it spread, and what to do when exposed to it. Well, COVID-19 is an illness caused by a virus from person to person. This virus that causes COVID-19 is the new coronavirus that has spread across the world. COVID-19 range from mild or no symptoms to several illnesses. COVID-19 spread through close contact, respiratory droplets, sneeze, coughs, and talks. Touching the surface area or object that has the COVID on it, then touching your mouth, your eyes, or your nose. Education is one of the most important keys. Without education, you won't be anything in life. Education changes everything. Schools also has become our second home. Teachers not only impaired education and knowledge, but also has become our parents in some circumstances. School means daily new opportunities for us, new concepts and new things to explore for us. Well, I would like to take this moment to hear from our guest speakers of what they think about this pandemic. You might take it out. Well, thank you for the opportunity even to express my feelings because we are deeply and we are negatively um, impacted by this coronavirus and especially with education. Well, there are people who learn through visuals, people who learn through orals, people who learn through the teaching and learning process that we we experienced for years, whereby a teacher would stand before you and then you would learn or you would grasp information through that process or through that manner. And education is important not only because like, it improves you, but then as one of the indicators or one of the platforms that we look at whenever we measure development. So when we measure development, we'll be looking at the social indicators whereby education itself as we, uh, we look at the level of education in that particular place or in that particular country. But then the main question is what happens when the school or when the learning and, uh, and, learning and teaching process is under attack and, under, and the, the attacker is something that you cannot control or well, that nobody can control at all. And then you just have to um, live with the situation or you just have to accept or learn to measures that you can learn the, to live without the, the situation. Well, education is important because it can make a person to separate mythology and facts. Because a, an, education, an educated person is able to know that this is a myth and this is a fact. Well, education is important and especially it proved it proved its importance through this um, COVID-19 pandemic because we were able to see who's educated and who's not. There was a myth that has that has arisen through this COVID-19 pandemic, and the myth was to say the vaccine is not safe. The vaccine is to kill people, and then. I see the need for education because if education was really taken serious, people would learn and people would know what is it to vaccine and what is it to kill and how does the two connect and how does the two not connect. And also, it has also, uh, it has also affected us socially and mentally because not only has it made us to stay away from school for a long time but then it has also made our minds to be at gym or to be stuck for a little moment well how could you learn something this week and then they expect you to remember that same thing two weeks after or 
maybe even a month after. So it has become a difficult moment for us to to learn and it was also difficult for us to remember quite well because like the pandemic was very very distractive for us and then um, not only has it been that way but then socially it has also affected us because we are used to sitting in groups we are used to caucusing or discussing we are also used to doing group work because you know defeated we are uh, because united we stand and divided we we are defeated. Uh, I would like to thank the opportunity given to to speak. Thank you. Thanks, Inelo, for sharing such wise words. Well, Inelo, what's your say in this? Thank you for the platform that you gave me to express my feelings and thought about this pandemic that has attacked our country, but not only our country, but the world globally. I'm sure that you are all aware what the pandemic is. The pandemic is coronavirus, also known as COVID-19. This pandemic affected all of us. A lot of people lost their jobs, their lives, even education somewhere, somehow it has been disrupted. This is a global disruption system in a history where students were sent home when schools closed their doors. The lucky ones were able to pursue their studies online, but even in developed countries, that's not an option. The world was already struggling to come and grab education in qualities. The experience of lockdown had many inequalities in 